uh, improving the environment, fighting uh, a global warming. The awareness in China, in fact, the, uh, President Xi Jinping hosted a program in, in uh, now I forget what city is, a, a special city which was just, which is just uh, built, it's a, um, it's an environmentally green city, specifically built, which, which we were invited to. I don't remember the name of the city, but we went there and everything there is environmentally friendly. So China is making great strides towards that. And I think the future of mankind, the biggest threat mankind faces is through this uh, climate change, global warming. Uh, and, and China really, uh, when it hosted, when President Xi Jinping hosted this conference, he invited leaders from all over the world and it was just, the theme was how to uh, save mankind from this catastrophe which is called climate change and global warming. Yes. Thank you so much, Excellency, for giving us this opportunity and it's really great honor for us. Uh, so, uh, my question is that the first phase of China-Pakistan economic corridor, CPAC, yields fruitful results in different areas, including energy and infrastructure. First, how do you comment on this? And second, how will China and Pakistan cooperate to ensure the success of second phase of CPAC? Especially, how do you see Sino-Pak economic growth. Thank you, Excellency. Firstly, uh, you know, the first phase of CPAC was connectivity and then uh, energy, uh, energy um, projects. So that was the first phase because Pakistan had problems with, we were shortage of energy. And, and then, of course, the connectivity, uh, which, which is what the CPAC initially was. Now the second phase <clears throat> is now deeper cooperation and that is we special, for, from Pakistan point of view the, the uh, uh, special economic zones and the idea is to attract investment into these special economic zones which will help employment in Pakistan improve our growth rate, cre create wealth for our country. But equally important for us is help from uh, China in, uh, in our agriculture. Now, as a half of our, po our population lives off agriculture, and the productivity of our agriculture, unfortunately, is extremely low. So we have compared uh, the productivity in China, which compared to us is much higher, and then all the uh, various technologies which are used in agriculture. So the second phase is for us our special economic zones, uh, agriculture, also skills education. We are collaborating in, in, in uh, getting uh, skills education in Pakistan. How do you speak up this China-Pakistan economic cooperation? We have already, uh, now we formed a committee which is the whole point of that committee, the CPEC committee, is to monitor the, uh, the CPEC projects and make sure that there are no impediments in their way. of international relations, as we are seeing with the new U.S. administration, there seems to be the talk of uh, alliance.